Dear students, in this unit we will talk about the photosynthetic protists. As you are aware that there are many protist species which are photoautotrophs, which means they synthesize their own food by the process of photosynthesis just like the plants through sunlight. Now, sunlight is used as an energy source in order to synthesize food for these protists. Now, example of the photosynthetic protists, they include phytoplanktons and unicellular algae, including Clematomonas. Now, other protists, they are capable of photosynthesis, include different types of algae, diatoms, dinoflagellates, and euglena. As you can see, in this example, you can see we have euglena, different types, and you can see chlorophyll is present inside this euglena, and with the help of this chlorophyll, they can synthesize their own food and they live freely in the aquatic environment and they become the important source of food for other aquatic organisms as well. These photosynthetic protists, they contain chlorophyll, which is the same pigment as the plant have, and it has the ability to absorb light energy and synthesize food for them. Now, Many of the protists, they are important producers. It means that they synthesize their own food by the help of photosynthesis from sunlight, and they are also part of food chain of different other organisms. You can imagine that if there are no photosynthetic protists in the aquatic environment, the life would cease to exist there won't be any animals or organisms because almost all of the organisms, they depend on these photosynthetic protists for their food. Now, in the aquatic environment, these photosynthetic protists and prokaryotes, along with the photosynthetic prokaryotes, they are the main food source for all the different animals. Now, this is a remarkable contribution of these photosynthetic protists to especially the aquatic ecosystems and the marine ecosystems.